Welcome to 1D Notes for Parallel versus Perpendicular. Parallel lines have the exact same slope. They never are going to intersect if you're looking on a coordinate plane. Perpendicular, these lines form a 90 degree angle. And they have a product, if you multiply them together, they'll multiply to negative 1. So let's get started. So example 1. First thing you need to do is we need to find the slope of the given line. So we're going to try to find a parallel. This one's parallel first, and then a perpendicular. So we're going to do parallel first. We have to, the given e line, we have to find an equation that is parallel to that that runs through the point 2, 3. So it's going to be a different equation. So let's, take, let's get started. So first you need to find the slope. So x plus 4y minus 8 equals 0. To find the slope, typically, the easiest way is to get, at least I believe the easiest way is to get in the slope-intercept form. So we need to get this equation to y equals. So to get it to y equals, we're going to have to add 8, move that over to the right side, and that's a positive x, so we're going to subtract x. All right, that's, not, that's moving our terms. If you're moving terms, you are doing the opposite operation. The positive 4y comes down, and I'm going to put the x term first because it's y equals mx, so I want the mx, the x term first for terms. Divide. Well, anytime you multiply or divide, you are multiplying or dividing every term by that number. So it's y equals, I'm going to pull out the negative 1 fourth fraction, and then 8 divided by 4 is 2. All we need here is our slope. So we are finding a parallel slope to that original equation so that we know that our slope is going to be negative one-fourth. We also know, let's bring it back out, that we need to get this new equation to go through 2, 3. So 2, 3. Okay, so if we have a point and a slope, we can use point-slope form. So point-slope. Is going to be that's the y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus x1. Okay, so let's substitute these numbers in. So our given point and our given slope. So y minus 3 equals the slope times x minus x1. So these are this is our point, our first point. So here's our point slope form. Cool. Now you're also going to need, at times, you're going to need to be able to change this to slope-intercept form. So that's going to be our next. So slope-intercept, our next thing. And slope-intercept, remember this is y equals mx plus b. And in this form, a lot of times, most of your equations, a lot of your equations for graphing linear are in this form or just graphing in general is y equals. So this is the main reason why we want to change it because most of our graphing is through y equals. If you notice, we need the y by itself and there are no parentheses. So we need, those are the two things we need to do. So first thing I take care of is I do the multiplication, the parentheses, the distributing first. So I'm going to leave this y minus 3. So negative 1 fourth times x is negative 1 fourth x. Negative 1 fourth times a negative 2, put it over 1. So you're going to multiply your numerator, so it's negative 1 times negative 2 is a positive 2. Multiply the denominators, 4 times 1 is 4. I'm going to do a quick simplification over there. Not needed, but I have a tendency to, if I can reduce a fraction, I do it. Now we need to, the last thing is to add 3 to get y by itself. So y equals negative one-fourth x. Now one-half, let's do this part over on the side. So we got the one-half plus three. Let me do that over here. So one-half plus three. So when you're adding or subtracting fractions, we need like denominators. So we multiply by two, multiply by two. Get one-half plus six over two. Now we have like denominators. We can add those numerators and keep your denominator. So we have 7 halves, which 3 and a half is 7 over 2. 
All right, here is slope intercept form. Wonderful. All right, and the last form we're going to work on is standard form. Standard form is AX plus BY equals C. And A, B, and C are integers, no decimals. All right, so we need no fractions or no decimals. And we need the, A, the X and Y term on the same side of the equal sign. So those are our two goals here. To get rid of fractions, you, all you're doing is you're looking at the denominators that you have. And you look for the least common multiple. So like we have 2 and 4. So two multiples of 2 are 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Multiples of 4 are 4, 8, 12, 16. Well, what's the smallest of both of them that I said? It's 4. So we're going to multiply by 4. So multiply every term by 4. That does not change. Since I'm multiplying the left side and right side of the equal sign by 4, I'm not changing the value of this problem. I'm just morphing it into a different um, form of each term. So 4 times y is 4y. 4 times a negative 1 fourth, so let's multiply your numerators, so that's negative 4. Multiply your denominators. 4 times 7 over 2. Multiply your, oop, sorry. Multiply your numerators, so that's 28. Multiply your denominators, that's 2. So I have 4y equals negative 1, negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1, negative 1x, one and then 28 divided by 2 is 14. All right, no more fractions. Awesome. Now let's move all of our terms, our x and y terms, sorry, just our x and y term to one side. I'm going to move it to the left side. It doesn't have to be left side. We have 1x, or just x, plus that's a positive 4y, so it's plus equals 14, and there's standard form. Cool. So that's parallel. Perpendicular. Now a perpendicular slope to the original slope of negative 1 fourth will be you it's always the opposite sign so instead of a negative it'll be positive and instead of one fourth we are going to flip it it's the reciprocal so it's four over one which is four so this is a perpendicular slope to the original so we're going to have m is going to equal four in this case and our point that we need to go through is two three so let's do point slope form Point slope is y minus 3, x minus 2. So that's point slope form. From there, we need, we're going to change it to slope intercept form. So we're going to distribute the 4. And there's no fractions here, so this is going to be a little, little easier, a little quicker. And add the 3. Here is slope intercept form. We have our slope is 4, and our y intercept is negative 5. That's really easy to graph. And then lastly, let's change this to standard form, which we're going to move our, all of our terms to one side, or our x, x and y terms to the same side. So it's negative 4x. That y is positive, so it'll be plus y equals negative 5. And there is our standard form. Cool. All right, let's move to the back. So right in the equation of a line that is perpendicular to a line that goes through the points in the 3, negative 5, and negative 1, 2 that passes through the point negative 4, negative 6. All right, so we need perpendicular. Um, I'm going to go, so we, we first, to find a perpendicular line, we have to have a slope. So we, we're looking at our slope from that goes through these two points. If you want to graph it, you certainly can. Uh, typically, when I'm given two points, I would do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So we have, I label both my points, x, y, x, y. I'm looking at which coordinate do I want to be my first coordinate. I'm just going to pick the first one. And that means the second coordinate, this other one is my second coordinate. So those are the little subscripts, what that means. So we have the slope equals y2, which is 2 I have in my case, minus y1, so subtracting y1 over 
x2 subtracting x1. Simplify this, we have minus opposite of negative 5 is a plus, so that's 7. Negative 1 minus 3 is negative 4. So negative, I'm going to move the negative up to the numerator. So our slope of the line that goes through these two points is negative 7 fourths. We need a perpendicular line to that. So a perpendicular line would be, um, so we got, so a perpendicular, or perpendicular slope, I should say, is we're going to change the sign so it was negative, so it's going to be positive, and we're going to have the reciprocal, 4 over 7. So we're going to switch numerator and denominator. So a perpendicular slope, and we have to have this go through the point. So now this perpendicular slope needs to go through a point negative 4, negative 6. So the perpendicular slope and negative 4, negative 6. Um, I'm going to start with point slope form. So y minus x, y minus negative 6, 4 sevenths times x minus negative 4. Simplify the, subtract the negative or opposite of negative 6 is plus 6. Opposite of negative 4 is plus 4. And there's our equation in point slope form. Now let's change this to slope intercept form. So we're going to distribute the 4 sevenths. Distribute the 4 sevenths to the 4. So that's 16 over 7. And we're going to need to subtract 6. I'm going to do that off to the side. So let's concentrate on 16 sevenths minus 6. Ooh, that, that's a weird outlook in fraction. 16 sevenths minus 6. Remember, that's going to be over 1. We're going to get our denominators to be 7. So 16 sevenths minus 42 over 7. That's negative 26. So subtract your numerators. 16 minus 42. Keep your denominator. So minus 26 sevenths. There is my slope intercept form. That is ugly. Not an easy one to graph. And I'm going to do, I'm going to change it to, so that, that's your equation actually. That's, that's all we need. All we needed was an equation. Technically, this top one is an equation too. Or this one. Those are equations. I typically want it in slope intercept form at very least though. All right. Lastly, last example, write the equation of a line that is parallel to the given line that passes through the indicated point. And then we need to do an equation that is perpendicular to the given line that passes through the indicated point. All right, so my indicated point is negative 3, 1. And my coordinates are 6, negative 1, and negative 2 negative 7. Now I really don't need to know these coordinates. I can do rise over run. So we can also do that. So let's, I'm going to do it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the slope is 6 over 8, which reduces to 3 fourths. So if we're going to do parallel, we're going to use the slope 3 fourths. And we need to go through the point negative 3, 1. So, so slope is 3 fourths, and the point is going to be 3, negative 3, 1. So you have y minus 1 equals the slope times x minus negative 3. So that's going to be a plus 3. And there is my equation. I'm going to make this uh, slope-intercept form. So we're going to distribute 3 fourths x. 3 times, multiply your numerators, multiply your denominators, we've got to add 1, add 1, let's do that off to the side, 9 fourths plus 1, 1 is going to be 1 over 1, multiply by 4, we get 13 fourths, wow, that's not a nice number to for a y-intercept, but you could estimate it and graph it. So there's a parallel line. Now let's do perpendicular. So 
the next one is perpendicular to the given. So that would be, if we're going to do perpendicular to the original the graph, we have the slope, the m is going to equal, so it was a positive 3 fourths, it's going to be negative, and the reciprocal. Flip the numerator and denominator. And we're going to still go through that same three po the same point. So we're, now we're going to work out this exact same thing. So you have y minus 1 equals negative 4 thirds times x minus negative 3. So that's going to be plus 3. So there's an equation. Let's distribute. So negative 4 thirds x. Multiply your numerator. So that's negative 12 over 3. And y minus 1 equals, I'm going to distribute, sim, simplify negative 12 over 3, and that's going to simplify to 4. Add 1. And, of course, I ran out of room. We have y equals negative 4 thirds x minus 3. And there is an equation that if I graphed it, so if I want to do a quick graph of this, why not? If I graph this, I go down negative 3, 1, 2, 3. And it's going to go through the coordinate negative 3, 1. And you see that would form a perpendicular. If I could draw straight, that would be a perpendicular line to the original. So, all right, hopefully those notes helped you. Thanks for watching.